Hey folks, this is Chef Tim from Kitchen Craft Cookware, and uh, we're going to talk to you about waterless cooking today, waterless and greaseless cooking today. Um, a lot of you folks already have our cookware, waterless cookware. You've been using it your whole lives. Uh, we have a lot of people that have had our product for 50, 60, 70, even 80 years. Um, we've been around since 1906. We're based out of West Bend, Wisconsin. Uh, a lot of folks have had it passed down to them from their parents. Uh, this is an heirloom quality product. You buy it once, you pass it on to the kids, and the kids pass it on to their kids. So it's, a, it's an evergreen product. And I know I get a lot of people say, I'd love a refresher course on how to use it. Some people, like I said, have had it passed down from parents and grandparents, and they don't know how to use it. So this is an advanced cooking school. And we're going to do a series of these programs to teach you how to use this product and how to get the most out of it. We're going to do all kinds of fun recipes and, and teach you about healthy cooking. Um, why waterless? Uh, well, let me give you a quick rundown of how that works. Well, waterless cooking, guys, is something we've all been doing for our whole lives. Your oven is a waterless cooking environment. Now, you don't throw water into an oven, do you? Right? Because it cooks evenly all the way around. Our cookware is designed to cook the same way. It's, a, it's called a vapor seal, which actually seals in all the nutrients, and it cooks waterlessly all the way around. And I'm going to show you how that works in just a little while, but let's go ahead and get cooking. So why waterless? Why greaseless? Well, waterless cooking is a very, very healthy way to cook. Um, you save all the nutrients, all the vitamins, and all the minerals. When you boil your vegetables at 212 degrees, you're losing 50 to 85 percent of the nutrients. Steaming takes place at 240, 260, and studies have shown that steaming is healthier than boiling, but you're losing up to 90 percent of your nutrients when you do that. 83 percent of Americans oversteam, and if you oversteam by two or three minutes, you're going to lose almost everything. Now, your microwave cooks your vegetables at 700 to 900 degrees. 10 seconds inside your microwave and you've completely destroyed all nutritional value. We're going to be cooking at 180 degrees today and you're going to save 98% of the nutrients and you also save all the flavors as well too. So let me go ahead and show you how this works. Now let's go ahead and cut up some carrots and I've got this really amazing, uh, well what do we call this? Um, this is kind of a tabletop cutting board here and let me show you how this works. We're going to take my one quart pot and we're going to cut up some carrots here. Uh, carrots are full of lots of good stuff, vitamin A, vitamin K, vitamin D, lots of good beta carotene in carrots. Some doctors believe that beta carotene is the first known cure for cancer and grow it right in our own backyards too, which is kind of cool. Now, to do a, a good test, we're going to do a bunch of different vegetables here. So we got some carrots in there. You want to make sure that you're, you're filling your pot at least two-thirds full. Uh, because you're going to be pulling the moisture out of the vegetables and cooking it that way. So let's go ahead and add some more things in here. Love corn. Everybody says there's nothing nutritious about corn. It's the butter and salt that's not good for us. It's a good blood sugar stabilizer. And uh, if you're a type 2 diabetic, guys, like I said, it's a good blood sugar stabilizer. Broccoli is a superfood. There's over seven times more nutritional value in broccoli than any other vegetable. So it's really, really good for us to get the kids to eat broccoli. And when you cook it this way... Um, it's going to be a lot, lot better for you, and it's going to taste a lot better, too. So the kids are going to love that. So let's go ahead and add a bit more in here, too. Um, cabbage. Love cabbage. Cabbage is full of iron, especially the red cabbage. Really good for you. Green cabbage is great, too. And we're going to do a little yellow squash and some zucchini in here as well, too. Yellow squash. Why do they call it yellow squash? Because it's yellow. Yeah, so we'll get some yellow squash going here. Uh, yellow squash, twice the vitamin C over oranges, so it's a lot better for you as well, too. So let's go ahead and get some of that in here. And zucchini. Zucchini and broccoli are the two best-known retardants for breast and colon cancer as well, too. So we'll get a little bit of that zucchini in here as well, too. Now, lastly, I'm going to put in some red bell pepper. Now, I've got the red bell pepper mainly for the color because we eat with our eyes. Um... All the uh, fast food signs in America are all red and yellow. So if you want to get the kids to eat more vegetables, feed them red and yellow. It's going to work for you. Guarantee it. Now let's go ahead and put some of that red bell pepper in there. Now I've got a beautiful vegetable medley here. All ready to go. Very, very healthy. Now normally, what would you add next? If mom was going to cook this on the stove, what would you add next? You'd add some water. Now Simon, dear old mom... Do this a million times growing up. She'd take the water, she'd drown the vegetables. She'd put it on the stove, and then she'd crank the temperature up to what? High. She'd want to boil them. All those nutrients would steam out through her kitchen. 20 minutes later, she'd take it off the stove, and she'd look at it and go, well, 
I still see a little bit of life and color in those vegetables here. And then she'd stab them to death, put them back in the stove for another 20 minutes. And after all that time, she'd go, okay, they look good, dead, and done. Let's say grace over the remains and let's have this mess for dinner. Well, we're not going to do that today. What we're going to do today, folks, we're going to rescue our vegetables from water. The two main enemies of your vegetables are heat and water. Water is a universal solvent. And heat breaks down all those good cancer-fighting antioxidants. Now, what is in that glass, folks, other than water? Anybody know? It's a five-second rinse. So that's all the vitamins and that's all the nutrients that's leaching out through the water. So there's no more water in the pot. Back in the day, they called it waterless cookware. And that's what we're still calling it today. A lot of folks are. But we're actually water-free now. Uh, back in the day, we were three-ply. It's a three-ply right here. Actually, sounds like that. Today... We're a full seven ply construction. So uh, we've improved upon the metals a whole lot, um, but now you cook water free. Now you wanna, you wanna wash your vegetables before you put them in there anyway, but you don't need to do what I just did here and, uh, and rinse them with the water, you don't need that. Let's go ahead and put the lid on here. Now you always wanna cook with the lid on, make sure you have a nice seal, which we do. That seal is very important because that's gonna form that vapor seal that's gonna allow this to cook from the bottom up, the top down, and the sides in. It's all overcooked. Now we're gonna put these on the stove and we're gonna turn it on to medium. Now we're looking, turn it on to medium. You don't want, a medium to low is all you need to know with this cookware. Now we're gonna cook very, very fast, which is gonna be pretty, pretty amazing if you're not used to how this cooks. Now we're looking for a little bit of vapor to come out of here. Once I see that vapor, that means we've reached that internal temperature of 180 degrees. Good temperature, we're not boiling. And then I'm gonna see how this spins freely here. We're gonna have a nice vapor seal that's formed. Now, we're also gonna be boiling up some carrots today. And uh, we're gonna do this the old fashioned way. So let me go ahead and grab some more carrots and we'll just chop up a few of these and we'll boil these ones up. And we're gonna give them a little bit of help here uh, with that little beta carotene booster shot there. So we're gonna give them a little bit of help. We'll go ahead and we'll pop this in here. Okay, now we're also gonna be doing up some chicken and potatoes here today as well too. Some fried chicken. And uh, we'll get these going in just a second, once these boil. So this is a full meal. We're gonna have the fried chicken and potatoes. I'm gonna do a baked potato, fried potato, and we're also gonna do our vegetable medley as well, too. I got a dry pan, there's nothing in the pan. I'm gonna go ahead and warm it up. You wanna heat the pan up before you put your meat in. And once again, we're gonna go to medium. Let that warm up. Now, here's the thing. You wanna make sure the skillet is hot before you put in the meat and the potatoes. And you're gonna know it's ready um, when we see a little, uh, when the water dances here. Let me go ahead and grab a little bit of water here. You wanna put a, just a little sprinkling of water in there and let it dance. And when it starts, once it starts to dance, that's when we know we're ready. And it happens very, very quickly. So hopefully they can see this. Let's go ahead and do a little spritz here. Maybe this might show you. Yeah, see, see what's splatting? It's not hot enough yet. There we go, it's starting to dance. Yeah, see how it's starting to dance there? Yes, it is hot enough now. So let me turn this right to medium. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to put our chicken in. Let me grab the chicken. Now, I've washed this chicken. You always want to make sure you rinse it beforehand. This is nice and uh, been rinsed up. Going to pop that in there. And then we're going to cut our potato up. Now, what I'm going to do with the potato, uh, I've, cut, I've cleaned it up and I've scrubbed it. Um, you never want to peel your potatoes. You never want to peel your carrots. Um, all the nutrients are in the skin. 85% of the nutrients in your carrots are actually in the skin. Now, I've cut it in half. I want to do a baked potato today and a fried potato today. Now, the fried potato is going to go start side down. And the baked potato is going to go start side up. Now, the key here, once again, cover that up. Um, I do this from a frozen solid, too. You don't have to have it thawed out. Um, bone in. Bone out doesn't make a difference. It cooks all the same way. Um, but we're looking at, depending on the thickness of the chicken and if it's frozen or not. If it's frozen, it's about a minute longer. But um, you're looking at about 10 to 12 minutes to cook that up. You know, 15 on the outside if it's a really big piece of chicken. Yeah. Now, if you can see over here, that vapor is coming out of that pot. That means we've reached that internal temperature of 180 degrees inside that pot. Now, that vapor has formed the vapor. So that's why that lid is able to spin freely there. Now, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to turn that off. Now, that pot is now locking up solid. And that is what the pot is designed to do. 
And everybody always asks me, well, what's the difference between your cookware and, and everything else you find out there? Right? Well, guys, you can go to Williams, Sonoma, Macy's, or even Walmart. If you buy a pot from one of these stores, they all do essentially the same thing. Like I said, they cook from the bottom up. Uh, they cook from the bottom up. Now, ours is waterless and greaseless, and it cooks from the bottom up, top down, and sides. And it's called a thermal core. So that's how it's cooking right now. Now, that is not done. It's been on the stove about three minutes, okay? Um, now, imagine cooking corn on the cob in three minutes. You can do that with this cookware. So it's been on the stove about three minutes. We're going to put that aside, and it's locked up solid, and we're going to go ahead, and we're going to boil up these carrots right now. And, we're gonna, and I'm not going to go high. We're going to probably go medium, medium, medium high, and we're going to boil these. Now, these are going to take me about 20 minutes to boil. This takes me three minutes of energy. What am I saving right now? Well, when you're saving time, you're saving a lot of nutrition as well, too. Um, but you're also saving money. Um, they've done studies with our cookware. You save about a dollar a meal when you cook this way on your gas or electric bill. One meal a day, 365 a year. Two meals a day over five years, you're going to put over $3,600 back in your bank account. So you're going to save a lot of money. Now, we're going to go ahead and let these cook right now. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, the different cookwares that are out there. And uh, this is pretty interesting. Now, the reason we do we can do what we do is because of the seven-layer construction. We take the best of everything else that's out there, and we combine it to make the perfect pot, and it's called kitchen craft. Now, we all love grandma's porcelain pot. I got this from my grandma's house, okay? Um, and, uh, you know, my grandma's got a canopy bed, but her canopy was under her bed. Okay, I never said, I was, I never said it was funny. Um, now, there's grandma's porcelain pot. And uh, this is the one, you know, very, very thin, and uh, it doesn't cook evenly. And we've also got the, uh, oh, let me show you this one here. This is the Teflon pan, yeah, soon to be Teflon. Now, they call this the $700 pan because you buy it once or twice a year. It's a $20 or $30 pan, you know, at Bed Bath & Beyond. But if basically, if you're doing that every year, over the course of the next 10 or 20 years, guys, you're going to have $700 invested in Teflon. And Teflon, studies have shown uh, this causes cancer in kids uh, and adults as well, too. Um, watch the movie The Devil We Know. This will scare you to death, okay, absolutely to death. Now, the old iron skillet, love the iron skillet. Don't put it in the dishwasher. They shrink. <laughs> Now, we love the iron skillet. Um, I've got some iron skillets at home. Um, this one actually came from my grandfather. Um, it's a great skillet, um, very porous. So what happens, all the bacteria in your food lives deep inside the pan. Um, now, we love what these both do, but we're not a big fan of what they are. Right? Um, this right here is the copper bottom. Very expensive pan, very hard to keep clean. But once again, you get those hot spots. So um, this is a piece of cooker that you replace over and over and over again as well, too. Now, this one is the aluminum pan here, too. And basically what happens, the Teflon is covering aluminum. So when you dig through this Teflon, you're going right into the aluminum. The aluminum has been associated with diseases such as Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, autism. So not a good pan to be using for your family. We've taken all the best of all of these pans and turned it into kitchen craft. Um, Multiply construction. Uh, we've got something like an iron core in the middle that holds the heat. Uh, we've got other metals that distribute the heat all the way around. We've got T304 surgical stainless steel around the whole pan itself. So the, the highest grade of stainless steel in the world, the same stuff that your hip and knee replacements are made of, your heart stents are made of that stuff too. Um, and guys, is it expensive? If you bought it yourself, you know it is, but it's worth it. You buy it once. And guys, compared to poor health, it's an absolute bargain. It really, really is. Now, we're going to go ahead, we're going to let these cook right now. Um, I'm, I've got our boiling carrots right here. I've got our waterless vegetables cooking right there with no energy on top of the stove. And we've got our chicken and potato cooking right here. Need another 10 minutes or so, we'll come right back at you. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes, 12 minutes, and I want you to show you something here. Even after 10 or 12 minutes, that vapor seal is still holding that lock. And that's what the pot is designed to do. Now, if I wanted to get that lid open quickly, I'd put it back on the stove. A little bit of heat would pop it right off. But we're pretty well ready to serve everything up right now. So I'm going to go ahead and do the big reveal. Now, when I open this up, I want a big wow. And you know what wow stands for, don't you? 
without water. We cook this complete, completely without water. Look at the colors, guys. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. Yeah. The reds are still red. Uh, the green does not look like it was just discharged from the army. When you see colors like this that are intact, you're looking at nutrients that are intact. This is living food for living people in living color. A beautiful colors and the taste, the nutrition, everything is all there because we didn't wash anything away with the high heat. Water is a universal solvent. Heat breaks down those good cancer-fighting antioxidants and enzymes. And so you stay away from all that. You cook at a lower temperature, maintain the nutrients. And, so, and you lose weight this way too. Um, I want to tell you something. Our bodies are actually very sophisticated machines. We're always searching for nutrition. Your body's searching for nutrition. So when you're feeding it full of um, empty calories, um, cake, whatever, ice cream, and I love that stuff too, believe me, but when you're eating the empty calories, your body says, hey, we're not getting any good stuff here, so we're still hungry. We need to eat. When you eat nutrient-rich food like this, then what it does, your body says, your mind says, hey, we're getting the good stuff, we got enough, we're full. The average American eats 20 to 30% more food than they need. So when you start eating this way, you lose weight. Go on our website, kitchencraftcookware.com, waterlesscookware.com. We've literally got hundreds and hundreds of testimonials from people that have used our product and gotten healthier. Now there's one gentleman, 170 pounds, type two diabetics. We've literally brought back tens of thousands of type 2 diabetics off the pills eating this way because you're getting the good stuff. So that's a beautiful thing. Now let me show you something here really quickly here. This, uh, these are the ones we boiled. Uh, these are the boiled carrots. And we're going to go ahead and pour this off. Now all the good stuff is right there. All the nutrients are right there. This is everything that is good about those carrots in a liquid form. Now we shouldn't be drinking this, right? But we don't. What do we normally do? You pour this down the drain. Have you heard of Dr. Mayo, the guy that founded the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota? He said that if our sink had a digestive system, it would be the happy, uh, happiest member of the family or healthiest member of the family. So we're going to go ahead and pour that down the drain there. And we'll, you know, when we make coffee, what do you do with the coffee, right? You pour the water over the ground, you drink up the coffee, right? Why is it when it comes to our vegetables, we do exactly the opposite thing, okay? You throw the good stuff away and you feed the coffee grounds to the kids doesn't make a lot of sense. So let me go ahead and show you this one here. Now, we've got a lot of really cool features with our cookware. Every one of the hand of the, the lids becomes a trivet or a hot plate. Now, if you're looking for a place to put that hot lid while you're cooking, you're never going to lose it again, which is kind of cool. So they all do this. Uh, we've got finger protectors on here as well, too, so you're never going to get hot. Um, now, we've got Space Age polymer, uh, polymer grip designed to go in the oven up to 350 degrees. The, the actually... Um, a uh, hand designer invented this right here too. That's pretty cool too. So let's go ahead and plate this up. Uh, let me show you. Now I can just see this happening here, you know. Um, you're out, uh, hubby's at home making a beautiful meal. You're out, you know, getting hanging out with a masseuse, getting a massage, you get home, you go, where's my dinner? He's gonna look at you and go, sweetheart, I love you, I love you, I love you. Your dinner's on the table on a silver platter, right? Now let me show you how. Lost a few of them there, but <laughs> we're making a mess here. Yeah. Okay, isn't that beautiful? Look at that, absolutely beautiful, and I made a big mess here as well, too. Now, everything cleans up really, really easy. We like to cook, we like to eat, we hate to clean up. I want to show you that nothing sticks permanently to surgical stainless steel. Any other pot in the world, you cook vegetables without water, that would be black. All ready for the dishwasher, everything's oven and dishwasher safe, too. Now, look at the difference, folks. Which one would you rather eat for the rest of your life, right? You know, this one or this one. Everything you see here, all the nutrients, all the vitamins and the minerals that will keep you healthy, help you live longer lives too. Now let me show you my chicken and potatoes here real fast. Now we didn't lift the lid off. Whenever you lift the lid off while you're cooking, it's like opening the oven door. So you want to make sure you leave that lid on. Let me go ahead and show you this real fast. Wow. Looks great. Now we're going to have two different types of potato here today. We're going to have a baked potato and a fried potato. Look at this, guys. Oh, my gosh. This is beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Nicely fried up. You've got a beautiful fried potato there without grease or oil. And this is my baked potato as well, too. And everybody says, well, how about mashed? Well, look at this, guys. It also is a beautiful mashed potato as well, too. And we did this in 10 minutes. 
How, how long would it take you to make a baked potato in your oven? 40, 50 minutes? So you're saving a tremendous amount of money on your gas, your electric bill. Um, cooking it this way, super, super healthy as well too. Let me show you our beautiful fried chicken. Now you're going to see here that it's not browned on the top. If you wanted to brown both sides, you can see it's beautifully fried here. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Right? Now, if you wanted to brown the other side, you just flip it over the last minute or so, brown the other side. But you don't need to do that. Um, it cooks all the way through. Now, let me show you how this looks after we open it up here. This is a thick piece of chicken here, too. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. That is juicy. Super, super healthy. No greases or oils. Nothing to harden the arteries up. Um, nothing to gain weight with. Beautiful, healthy meal here, too. And uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to plate this up right now. So we've got our beautiful southern fried chicken. We've got a fried potato. And we also have a baked potato as well, too. So isn't that great? So we got our wonderful veggie medley, baked potato, fried potato, and our southern fried chicken. Beautiful meal. Everything here, the whole price of what you're looking at right here, under $5. So uh, a meal for two for under five bucks. Super, super easy. Now, if you want to take a look here, I'm going to show you how to clean this pot here very quickly. And um, you're going to see it's a little, bit, uh, a little bit stained up, which is going to happen. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of water in here. And I'm going to show you how easily this cookware cleans up. Uh, folks that have had our product for many, many years, and I know you're all sitting at home right now, going, it cleans up so easily, and it really, really does. I'm going to take a little bit of water. So what we're doing right now is, uh, in the biz, we call it deglazing. And uh, I'm going to put the lid on here, and, and we're going to let that cook on high, just for about 30 or 40 seconds. Now, um, it's deglazing the pot. So all the, uh, all the beautiful stuff that's coming off the bottom, you turn that into gravy, by the way, too. So it makes it really nice gravy for the chicken, but we're not going to do that today. So you see how that vapor soil is actually forming it, too, which is kind of neat. So it's deglazing here. Now, metal on metal is not a problem with kitchen craft. You do not need to baby this cookware with a wooden or a plastic spatula. It will not hurt it, okay? And you've got that beautiful gravy right there. Let's go ahead and pour that off, and I hate getting rid of this. Uh, okay. Yeah, that would make a really nice gravy. And look at that, guys. All ready for the dishwasher. Everything is oven and dishwasher safe as well, too. So um, up to 350 degrees. Now, great meal here, easy to do. We're going to have a lot more of these advanced cooking school classes coming up. But uh, hang tight, and we're coming right back at you.